Let's start. Good morning, class. My name is Andodo. I'm taking you through the course Leadership and Management. And then, um, obviously, we are from the Department of Marketing and Strategy. The objectives of the course is um, we are supposed to describe and implement different theories and philosophies to manage people and work or people at work. We are supposed to understand how individuals and teams work in an organization. And finally, we will be applying different techniques and strategies to improve people management in organization. And the way we're going to assess this course is 60 for end of semester examination and 40 for continuous assessments. Um, in a bit to introduce this course, we are to understand ourselves, understand others, understand change and the impact of change, understand management, motivation, leadership, teams, and team building. Let's look briefly at the history of leadership. Um, there is this man called James McGregor, Mac who started leadership proceedings in writing in 1978. He coined the term transformational and transactional leadership. And so he says leadership over human beings is exercise when persons with certain motives and purposes mobilize in competition or conflict with others, institutional, political, psychological, and other resources so as to arouse, engage, and satisfy the motives of followers. And so what is leadership? Leadership has got a double meaning. One, to lead means to be advanced, to be prominent, and to see to people. Two, leadership is to guide others, to be head of an organization, to hold and to command. We are looking at different definitions of leadership, at least two or three of them. There is this guy called Allen. He came up with one of the definitions of leadership. And he says leadership is the activity to persuade people to coordinate and to cooperate in the achievement of a common objective. George Terry also says that leadership is the activity of influencing people to strive willingly for group objectives. Let's look at the characteristics of leaders. If you are a leader, you should be enthusiastic. So enthusiasm is the inspiration for the work and goal achievement. If you are a leader, you should be courageous. The second important characteristic is the ability to face the new problem all the time. You should be courageous to face the problem and be able to solve whatever problem at stake. As a leader, you should be self-confidence. This means that the leader knows what he or she can do and cannot do. He or she sets immediate and realistic goals. So if you are a leader, you should be able to set whatever you can do and cannot do. You should be realistic. And another thing is integrity. A leader keeps his or her promises made to those over him or those he, had, he, he or she is dealing with. You should be friendly as a leader. Friendliness means basic interest to respect people as individuals. And also as a leader, you should have the ability to give and get cooperation. The leader must know that in order to get cooperation, he or she must be prepared to extend cooperation. Finally, let's look at leadership skills. One, as a leader, you should have what we call speaking skills. You should be able to speak in public. You should be able to have writing skills. You should be able to write and write well. You should have interpersonal skills. You should have decision-making skills. You should have administrative skills. And finally, you should have supervisory skills. We will end the class for today and continue next week. Thank you very much.